This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got my first guest from for season seven, Stacy Nicolou. Thank you very much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having us, Kathy. It's an exciting time. I actually get to have you back in the studio. <laughs> we were sort of doing a lot of Zooms in the last two years during the COVID pandemic. So thank you for being my first guest back for season seven and being in the studio as well, too. Well, thank you very much. So Stacy, you are a, a committee member of the Perth's Honor Our Veterans uh, banner program plus you're a member of the Legion you are the poppy chairman too so you're very busy <laughs> yes and just starting to get busy for the uh, upcoming uh, season for us that's right that's right so let's talk about uh, both seasons actually as well too the yes. poppy cam campaign is going to be getting busy plus your busy busy weekend coming up in September too so let's talk about that that's in honor of our veterans yes so uh, this is our uh, third year for our uh, Perth's Honor our Veterans banner program um, we uh, are very fortunate. Uh, Sue Doran came up with uh, this idea that's been taking Canada by storm, um, honoring our veterans by having uh, their pictures on their banners, uh, bought for by their family members. And uh, the town of Perth has uh, cooperated tremendously to allow us to uh, put them up on the lampposts uh, from the end of September right through till after Remembrance Day. Uh, and it's a great time uh, to reflect and remember all those, because uh, we do have a number that have uh, paid the ultimate price, that were killed in action, that are uh, being raised in town. And, uh, and we decided to make a weekend of it, um, to have a f big formal parade. Uh, this year we're having a golf tournament, and uh, this year we will have 307 banners uh, flying down the pathway of heroes in the town of Perth. And you know, it's such a wonderful way to honor our, our veterans, uh, for the families, but also just for people that visit Perth. You know, you can go through there and you can see so many banners, so many people, 307 this year. Yes, that, that's right, 307. And it's, uh, it's kind of funny, the first year they went up, um, and it's the same in every town, and everybody s says almost the same thing, that you know, every year at Remembrance Day, you hear the names read out uh, for those that have paid the price, uh, but now, as you drive through town, now you see their faces. It, it's a very emotional weekend, uh, not just for the families, but for anybody that served in the community, because a lot of these people, they, they, they knew these people. Well, now their faces are there downtown, and uh, you pretty much have to park and walk it uh, to be able to appreciate the whole thing, uh, because 307 banners, it does take up the whole downtown core, uh, and then some in the parking lots of the commercial businesses through Perth. And quite often, too, when you're walking through the town of Perth and you see the banners, the families are standing underneath it, and they love to talk to you about their family member. Uh, that's right. It's uh, the banner weekend. Uh, there's thousands of people that come into town fr from out of town, and uh, they're there uh, underneath uh, their banners uh, with their family members flying up above. And it's, uh, it, it's a great weekend for the family. It's, a, it's an emotional weekend, and it's a great way to pay tribute to uh, our uh, veterans and our soldiers. And on September 23rd is the Friday. Yes. That's the day the families put luminaries if they want. Yep, Friday night. Uh, families have picked up their luminaries, uh, and then they'll be able to put them out uh, for like a candlelight vigil for Friday night. Um, and that'll be uh, just the Friday night. They'll pick them up Saturday morning and uh, they'll be able to keep them till next year. And uh, it, it's just one more little touch for the tribute uh, to these veterans. So how do you, if you want to, you have a family member, would you like to get a banner? How do people do that? Well, they can contact the Legion, uh, Perth Legion at 267-4400, uh, or they can contact the uh, banner chairman, Sue Doran, at suedorn12345 at gmail.com and they can get an application. Once they have the application, they can fill it out. Uh, applications are good until June 1st of uh, that year. So now we'll, we're taking applications for next year because by June 1st, by the time the company uh, makes the banners and we get them delivered, um, we'll be able to then uh, put them up, hopefully. All right, all right. So let's talk about the weekend because you've got lots going on as well, too. Starting yeah. off with the Friday, you have a golf tournament? Yes, we have a golf tournament uh, that our uh, banner program is running. Um, it's going to be at Maple View Golf Course. It is open to the public. You don't have to be a military veteran to uh, play. And uh, once again, you can contact the Legion or Sue Dorn 
and uh, register for it. And all the proceeds from the golf tournament are going to go for uh, to Homes for Heroes in Kingston, which is a uh, tiny homes uh, subdivision that is being built uh, that is fully separate and uh, will help uh, transitional housing for uh, military veterans in need and uh, that are homeless or just in that transition trying to figure things out after their service. So you would like people to pre-register for the golf tournament? Yes, the golf tournament you need to pre-register uh, and if you can't golf and uh, you think it is a great program uh, you can look up on our uh, Facebook page uh, ways to donate. You can stop by the branch, uh, make a donation uh, for Homes for Heroes and we can send it uh, forward on your behalf or you can get right to Homes for Heroes Kingston on their webpage and donate that way as well. Excellent, excellent. And we mentioned already we can put, yeah, families are going to put luminaries out underneath the banners and then uh, the Perth Citizen Band is going to be playing at the Crystal Palace that night. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's from 7 till 9. So uh, the next day is your busy day. The next day is a busy Saturday day. Saturday is our busy day. That's our, uh, our banner day. Um, we have uh, the branch uh, open house will be open. We have a barbecue. Uh, hot dogs will be free. Um, our Hall of Remembrance uh, Military Museum will be open. Uh, the OPP uh, pipe band will be in to perform a concert at 3.30. And we also, the big event is our motorcycle veterans parade. Mm. So it's all motorcycle veterans uh, from all over, uh, a lot of them from Canada will, are coming out. Uh, so you should see almost up to 200 motorcycles that I was are all say, I'm veterans. I a terrible estimator. How many were there last year? It was amazing. Last year we were close to 200. Right. Um, and then this year, and uh, the great thing is, is that we have a lot of veterans that are immobile at our uh, seniors homes. Uh, retirement homes. So what they're doing is uh, before and after the parade uh, through the Pathway of Heroes is they attend the retirement homes, Lanark Lodge, uh, Carolina Court, Lanark Lifestyles, and they're helping us by having all the veterans out front while they all do their drive-by. Some great pictures were taken of some of the motorcycle drivers coming up and you know shaking the hands of some veterans outside yeah. of the nursing homes. It's so yeah. emotional. It's, yeah, it's it, it, it's uh, it's. It, it is a very emotional weekend. Uh, the veterans come out because they know this is uh, important, uh, being veterans themselves, and some of them still serving. Uh, and then seeing a lot of our older veterans, which as we know, our World War II veterans, there's not many around, uh, or Korean War vets. Um, so it gives uh, a, a great honor just to have all them come out uh, to our banner weekend, um, do our parade, end up back at the branch uh, once again for some uh, comradeship. Uh, like I said, we do have a full open house at the branch, a barbecue, museum. We've got the pipe band in uh, to perform a concert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Hall of Remembrance at the Perth Legion, if I remember correctly, you, you were very instrumental in getting that together, weren't you? Uh, not getting it together. It's been going for uh, a lot of years, a couple, few decades. Uh, but I am also uh, uh, one of the curators there with our uh, uh, museum lead, uh, John Gemmel. Excellent, excellent. So that's really worth going to see too as well. Yeah, we're probably the second largest uh, war museum other than the National War Museum in Ottawa uh, in Canada. Well, we've got to say, where is the Legion located in, in Perth as well for people? So we are at uh, 26 Beckwith Street, uh, right beside the Tay River um, and right beside the bridge. And uh, we've got a big parking lot. We've got lots of parking in and around. And, uh, just everybody come out and enjoy the day, watch the parade, come back to the branch for a bit. You can come see the museum, come see the pipe band, uh, and come out and talk to a lot of the veterans and the families. Excellent. Hey, yeah, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Uh, more going on that, is that the night we have Dave White playing, or is that the on Sunday. Sunday night? We have Sunday night. On we Sunday the 25th, playing. yeah, through the afternoon. Uh, Dave White and his uh, PDCI reunion rock and roll band are playing all afternoon. Uh, we, will, uh, we do have a... Uh, eucalyptus memorial bench uh, that we are selling raffle tickets for that has a beautiful uh, military themed plaque attached to it. Uh, that raffle will be drawn uh, halfway through Dave's uh, band's performance at the branch as well. Excellent, excellent. And just something else that the, your, your Legion does, or Sue that does it, is the uh, birthday recognition for the veterans in, in Perth. That is amazing. Yes, it's uh, another great project by Sue Dorn again. Um, 
for anybody, a uh, veteran that's 80 and older, uh, Sue gets up early in the morning and places uh, the number of Canadian flags based on their birthday and a uh, beautiful placard sign that's put out front uh, to honour that uh, veteran's birthday and that he is a military veteran and wishing him a happy birthday. And then I have to give great uh, kudos uh, to the Perth Fire Department. Uh, they've got a military uh, World War II wrapped uh, pumper truck uh, yes. that they bring out then to the, the veteran's uh, house mm -hmm. and they get birthday pictures taken out in front of their house in front of the sign as well. Oh, wow. And uh, you'll be able to see the uh, wrapped uh, fire truck in the uh, parade as well. Excellent, excellent. And like we said earlier too, you've got 307 banners. Can you name some of the streets that they're going to be going on? Because you have to keep getting bigger and bigger every year. Well, uh, <laughs> bigger and bigger. Uh, so the Pathway Heroes uh, encompasses uh, Wilson Street from Highway 7 all the way up to Foster Street, Foster Street, and then Gore Street up to Michael's Table. Now, because we're outside of our uh, number of poles, uh, we've also gone into Perth Muse Mall. Canadian Tire has allowed us to put banners up in their parking lot, Home Hardware, and now we're also in behind the hospital in uh, Perthmore subdivision. Uh, we have a number of veterans there, and they're able to have their banners uh, right close to their house out front. So once again, it's, uh, we've got a few more spots left, uh, probably 40 or 50 for next year, but we'll have to uh, try to find some more poles, uh, posts to put up in. Excellent, excellent. So again, that weekend is September 23rd, 24th, 25th. For more information, how do they get, get uh, that? They can go on to our Facebook page, Perth Honor Our Veterans Banner Program, or they can contact the Legion at uh, 267-4400 and uh, just ask our uh, staff there, and if they uh, leave a message, uh, we'll, somebody will get back to them right away. And with I, the I know your, your Facebook page, Sue, is putting stuff on it almost daily. Yes. What's going on, too. Yeah. So it's uh, everything's posted there. Uh, some of the banner pictures are up to allow family members to tell a little bit of the story of their uh, veterans uh, for their banner. Um, yeah, there's just all the information's there and then some. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Our first guest here on FYI for Season 7, thank you very much for joining us, Stacey Mikulu. Uh, here we go. We've got the, you're the Poppy Chairman. We're going to have to have you come back and talk about that. <laughs> we didn't even get to that. And you're also a member of the Perth's Honor Our Veterans Banner Program. Thank you for joining us again, September 23rd, 24th, 25th in Perth. Yeah, thank you very much again, Kathy, and I hope to see everybody there.